evening and welcome to a state of flux this Wednesday evening. <laughs> My guest tonight is uh, Robert Rutman and Steel Cello Ensemble. Um, we're going to talk for a while and then we're going to make a lot of noise. A lot of noise. Okay. Robert Rutman, um, I'm sure a lot of people listening in tonight are familiar with your music. I, I think probably more than we might imagine. Um, however, I think there are a lot of new people tuning in who have no idea who you are and, and what you do, so why don't you describe your music for our audience? That's really very hard. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, well, I've, I've uh, uh, constructed some of my own instruments, and uh, basically I'm a... Uh, I guess, you know, my mother made me take piano lessons when I was a kid. But uh, as I grew older, I, know I, I quit piano, but as I grew older, I decided I wanted to, you know, perform. And uh, so there were so many far greater piano players, guitar players, drummers, God knows what. So I decided I should build my own instruments. And this way, I could be the best at what I do. <laughs> so I've constructed about, uh, uh, well, actually four instruments. Uh, the steel cello, which is a, a ten-foot-tall piece of stainless steel suspended vertically with a uh, string, and you bow the string. The other one is a bow chime, which is a, a, a piece of stainless steel mounted horizontally with a bar and rods attached to the bar and you bow the, uh, bow the rods. Then the third instrument that I built was, is called the buzz chime, which is a, um, a big huge wooden triangle with rods that you bow with a six foot rod, uh, a six foot bow. And then the last thing that I built was a uh, what I call the real steel cello, which is a, 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 a sort of a stand-up single-string cello, or oh, it, it, it sort of is as similar as you can get to a cello. So, um, so those are the uh, four instruments I've uh, created, and uh, I get together with uh, people that I uh, mostly non-musicians because we're really into noise and. Uh, I've tried playing music for, you know, 20 years, but I've kind of failed at that. <laughs> <laughs> and I found right it place. very sort of constraining, you know. Music is very constraining by, by all of its rules and regulations, so I've decided that I, I'm really into noise and I love to make noise. Have you gone through any uh, refining process with any of these instruments? Yes, they've been refined over the process of 20 years, you know, like uh, originally uh, the, the stainless steel sheet was suspended from the ceiling, you know, mm -hmm. uh, which was, was hard to mount it on ceilings wherever you went, so you had to build a stand. And uh, mostly the... Um, technology has gone really into the stand where uh, you, you try to make it as portable as you can so that you can move it around. Okay, you, you have several of these, excuse me, several releases, there we go, available for of your recordings over the years. Can you um, tell us um, what they're like and are they still available? And, and uh, Well, I only have, uh, well, I have actually uh, three records, uh, two records and uh, cassette. Only the cassette is available now, and uh, uh, the the records are out of print. Yeah. Um, so, do you? Um, what are your plans for performances? I, I understand that sometimes you you play with um, rock bands, actually, like Bent Men in Boston. Well, I've done a couple of things with Bent Men, mostly just uh, for openness. I've worked with uh, Dorothy Carter. Uh -huh. who's a, a folk musician, uh, really well known, or used to be pretty well known. And she's on the comeback trail now, too. Yeah. Well, and um, mostly I've worked with theater, actually, um, you know, accompanying plays and stuff like that. Well, we have some of your, um, your recordings that are 
they're, they're on uh, digital audio tape this right. evening, and we're going to hear a few of those, and then we'll, uh, we'll come back. Right. The first one that uh, you're going to hear is the, uh, the buzz chime, which is the, the, the wooden instrument, and it, uh, it has a sort of a rhythmic quality. It's, uh, well, you just listen to it, I guess. Okay. Um, it's visceral. Yeah, Dave Prescott is here. He's uh, fiddling with a digital audio tape machine now, and uh, I think he's ready. So we're gonna we're gonna go with it.
You are listening to WCUW in Worcester, 91.3, Community Radio for Central New England. This is a state of flux. My guest this evening is Robert Rutman, and what you just heard was, um, well, I don't really know the name of it. What was that called? Buzz Off. Buzz Off. <laughs> <laughs> it's good traveling music. After you've listened to that, you've traveled, you know, 20 minutes. That came to us on a digital audio tape recording, and it um, sounded great. It, it really did. Did you record that in your in my studio? In my yes. studio. Uh-huh. And um, you have a performance coming up very soon. Right. I'm doing a. Uh, actually, it's. A, uh, I'm also a painter, so I'm doing a, 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 an, a an exhibition of my latest work, which are landscapes, and then I'm also giving two performances on. Uh, Saturday and Sunday on the 26th and 27th of uh, November, Thanksgiving weekend, when nobody has anything to do, so come by. It's at the Brinkerhoff Gallery in Cambridge, that's 265 Pearl Street, Cambridge, and my telephone number is 492-3464. So if you want to come, you know, give me a call. Okay, and we'll repeat that later on in the show. Um, why don't you tell us a little bit about um, uh, the history of the... It, it's no longer called the U.S. Steel Cello Ensemble, correct? It's right. Well, I, you know, in America, I'll, I'll call it the U.S. In, uh, when we were in Europe, we thought we didn't want to get uh, blown away by <laughs> some terrorists. <laughs> <laughs> When did you? When exactly did you come into being as the Steel Cello Ensemble? Oh, um, actually, '76. I, I I used to have another group called Central Main Power Music Company, and uh, the original idea was that we would all make our own instruments. But it turns out that everybody ended up playing saxophones and <laughs> pianos and God knows what. So, and after a while, I just got tired and I wanted to do just. Uh, you know. Who were you working with back then? Um, oh, uh, Dorothy Carter, yes. Connie Danby. Um, you know, just all kinds of weirdos. <laughs> okay, I was, that's, that leads me to the next question. You've been doing this for, for quite a long time. 20 years, yeah. And what was um, some or at least one of the, the more bizarre experiences you've had um, in a performance or meeting people or... Uh, just traveling around? Well, I, I can't really. Um, but we we did a, a really great event at, uh, this was before the U.S. Steel Cello Ensemble, we, we did a great event at the uh, Rochester Planetarium uh, where, you know, we were right in the center and they had these huge... Uh, um, video projections. This was in the early days. We used to do multimedia shows. I used to have a gallery in, in New York called uh, A Fly Camp Bird, But a Bird Can Fly. And uh, we used to do all kinds of strange exhibits. It was like a, the, the original media. Uh, it was a media gallery, very psychedelic. And uh, we, we started tie-dye. Dorothy Carter and I were partners. She uh, was doing tie-dye at that time, and uh, you know, and then she started playing hammer dulcimer. And we had gronks, which are great events done by Danny Russell, and uh, just incredible situa- scenes. And then also, of course, the what probably would be one of my most important <laughs> events. <laughs> was uh, the uh, the New York Museum of, uh, you know, New um, Museum of Modern Art. Uh But uh, it wasn't a very exciting experience. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, uh, do you uh, perform basically as a solo artist now, or do you work with other people? I have an ensemble which uh, can grow to 10 instruments, or we've had as many as 10 instruments, but mostly uh, I play with two or three other people, you know, people that I've played with over a long period of time, so we sort of know each other. Okay, well, in, in, a, in a minute or so, we'll be hearing another piece 
Um, this one is called Noise. Noise, yes. This was from a, uh, um, a, um, a recent performance. It was uh, a collaboration with uh, um, uh, Zimmerman. I can't remember his first name. Uh, but he was uh, he's playing the drum the drum is really loud and it really knocks your speakers <laughs> but it's a great piece anyway i think it's got a lot of comedy in it okay as i said before david prescott is here he's uh, again behind the scenes arranging the uh, digital audio tape he's nodding me on so i'm just gonna close my big mouth and uh here we go with some more steel cello ensemble music on digital audio tape Thank you. 